It's Wes. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to set up your Canon EOS R for time lapse recording. Let's get into it. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. Do it right now before I show you the steps to set your Canon EOS R for time lapse recording. Your subscribing to this channel is the best way to support it. Thank you. Take a moment to subscribe. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. Time lapse recording is literally a few clicks of a button away, but two potentially tricky steps might make it seem more complicated than it actually it is. Watch all the way to the end of the recording to see what those tricky steps are. Recently, one of the subscribers on this YouTube channel asked about time lapse recording. Shout out to 808 Flyer who commented he wanted to figure out time-lapse recording options on the EOS R. If I'm being honest, I've tried to Google the setting before and use it before, but somehow I never followed through, likely because of the two tricky steps you'll need to be aware of. Make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video for those. Let me tell you what finally prompted me to figure out the time-lapse recording on my EOS R. After owning the camera for nearly one year, this morning, I was out at the Women's March in Santa Ana with my wife, and I was recording footage for the vlog we do together using the Canon EOS R. And as we were marching along with all the other people that showed up, I felt that I needed to try to capture the massive amounts of people who were there. And I remembered time-lapse mode. I made a plan to run up the road a piece, find a solid object uh, to set the camera on since I didn't have a tripod, and then I'd record a time-lapse of the march until my wife caught up. I quickly Googled the topic on my phone, found this. Three simple steps, except, there's an except, these steps are not always accessible via the menu. Watch until the end to find out the two tricky steps. In brief, if your camera is ready, you go to video mode from photo mode by hitting mode then info. Choose manual and video mode, then hit menu, and on the second red menu page, you'll see time-lapse recording. Click it and set your desired resolution. Seems easy, right? Once you've enabled time-lapse recording, you'll see it's super easy to fine-tune your time-lapse settings under time-lapse movie option under the red menu, page two. Once you enable and set your resolution to 4K or HD, you can choose your interval. I left mine at every three seconds, and you can set the number of shots. I left mine at 300, simply because I was in a run and gun situation, and I was gonna hit stop recording manually anyway. Then you can designate the time-lapse movie's exposure setting to be pulled automatically from the first frame, or recalculated with every frame. Next, you can set the screen to turn off automatically, or leave it on. I left it on because I was only doing a few moments of time-lapse footage, but if you're recording a longer period of time, like several minutes to an hour, you'd probably want the screen off to save the battery. And you can set it to beep every time an image is taken. I have my uh, sounds all turned off, so I didn't change that. Here's the tricky part. If time-lapse movie recording is grayed out, it's because either of these two options are in the way, and I had to deal with both of them. Make sure you have digital stabilization turned off. Red menu, page one at the bottom, turn image stabilization off. Next tricky step, make sure you have Canon log turned off. Red menu, page four in the middle, turn Canon log off. That's it, and you'll get great results. Now that I've tried it, I'm debating to replace my super slow-mo 120 frames per second uh, recording with time-lapse recording as one of my custom video modes. I hope you've enjoyed this quick uh, tip on time-lapse recording with the Canon EOS R. It's so simple, take advantage of it. It's really a dramatic way to capture moments and show the scale of things or progress over time like the clouds or the weather or um, people moving through the screen show how busy a scene is. Um, thank you very much. Please subscribe. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, so that's an exciting milestone for me. And hit the like button, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Uh, shout out again to 808 Flyer for wanting to know about time-lapse recording and reminding me of it recently that it was an option and I used it today. Thanks. Peace.